Hi, welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays. Today we're going to talk about the TMOS system as it relates to the traffic management microkernels and the host OS. And unique with Big IP, uh, different than maybe some routers or some other ADCs you've used, is that there is a difference between the traffic management and the functions that, that live on the host. And so we're going to go a quick overview of how that works. You have your, your uh, Big IP, you've got TMOS. Here is a box, and you might have a couple of TMMs, and then you have this host OS. And so when, when TMOS boots, it, it uh, divides all the, the system resources, and you know when you're looking at uh, CPU and memory, and then of course there's other things, but we'll focus on CPU and memory. The priority goes to your traffic management, obviously, because that's what the box does. You want it to push traffic and you want it to have as many resources as possible. So your CPU and memory priority goes to TMM. And then you carve off a little bit. In later versions with the resource provisioning, you can actually dial up the host OS's uh, resources uh, and, and do a custom uh, provisioning, but uh, by and large it carves off a little piece for the host OS to do the things the host OS does. And that's, that's all management stuff. That's logging in, that's uh, uh, logging and uh, SSH in and out of the box, TCP dump, uh, you know, network time, all that stuff is on the host. That's not part of the actual passing of traffic, that's what TMM does. And so I want to talk a little bit about how the traffic management happens uh, with regard to the, um, the TMM versus the host. So if you have uh, TMM here and you have the host here, from an inbound perspective, you have traffic coming to uh, TMM. First, let's talk about transit traffic. Transit traffic is, is the traffic that, that TMM is, is load bouncing and is, is uh, passing through the box. So traffic coming from client to server, that's what TMM handles and it's always going to handle that. It's not going to hand that down to management. Uh, but when you're talking about traffic to the box, uh, whether it's a management interface or the self IP, that is where uh, if it's inbound to a self IP, then TMM is going to process that traffic. And once, uh, like if it's, if it's uh, uh, specific to uh, like a SSH process or HTTPS process, TMM will process that, but then if allowed by the rules in place on the self IP, it will pass that down to the host OS. For the host OS, that's management IP on the inbound, and the host OS processes that traffic. So TMM never looks at traffic that arrives at the management IP, the host does that. For uh, traffic that's destined for the host but is arriving on a TMM interface, TMM looks at that but then it passes it down to the, to the host OS. And so that's inbound. From an outbound perspective, and I can come over here. From an outbound perspective, the host manages all of that, regardless of whether it's, it's uh, sourced from a management IP or a self IP. If it's outbound, the host controls that. And so this is kind of all host, all right? So that's how the, the traffic works on the, the TMOS system between TMM and the uh, management or the host OS. Let's talk about routing a little bit. So the, to, to see the routes on your system, for TMM routes, that is show net route, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. If you want to see the routes on the management system, that's the typical Linux command, netstat-rn. And so you can see the routes in TMM versus the routes that are on the, the Linux host. Now, for traffic that's uh, outbound from the system, it's always going to, that's initiated from the system, it's always going to prefer a management route if it's there. If there isn't a management route, then it will use a TMM route, so you need to be careful about that. And uh, you, you may want 
all of your traffic to go via out-of-band management networks. But if you do not have a route, like a default route or some kind of a, a garbage collecting route, and, uh, uh, and, and you define a service that the big IP is going to go reach out to, and there's a match in TMM but not in management, it will use it. And so you need to be careful about that. And then uh, traffic from T uh, TMM, all transit traffic, as I mentioned before, it, it will not be passed from TMM into the management route and sent out. Uh, but I will say about things like monitors, if you have uh, remote, uh, like you're passing through a gateway to get to your pool members and they're not directly connected on Big IP, then if there's no route from TMM to those destinations, it will, it will manage that, uh, it will send those monitors out the management network. So you need to make sure that you have defined uh, routes in TMM to your pool members. And then finally, just want to talk about tools real quick. So because TMOS handles the, allocate, uh, the allocation of all the resources, you need to be careful about trusting the Linux tools like Top and uh, Free and W because they're looking from a Linux host perspective. The Linux host has only been giving a certain amount of resources and so those aren't going to be accurate. So you need to use your, your TMM commands uh, to look at your, your TMM stuff and then your host commands, uh, especially for these kind of things, they're, they're just not going to be accurate. So don't, don't trust them. At, you know, the host OS stuff from a resource perspective really isn't that important as a system because the traffic management is the important part. And so, uh, but if you want to look at uh, within your, you can do uh, show sys uh, TMM info for proc and then for memory, uh, show sys memory. And uh, at least within TMSH, some of the uh, some of the statistical data on the TMM side, uh, it becomes far more accurate in 11.6 uh, and forward, uh, whereas if it was uh, assigned all of the resources locally in earlier versions, you may have a skewed view of what, what that memory allocation really is. And so, um, so you know, that, that kind of wraps up the, the TMOS, uh, TMM versus host OS and how they relate and how they play together. And I'll drop some resources in, in the, the links uh, at the, the bottom of this article. And uh, thanks for joining us, the community. We'll see you out there. <laughs>